Yeah, for a grey overcast day. Some chance of some rain, that sort of carry on. But uh, I'm off to have an adventure, let's hope. Which begs the question, well, what, what is an adventure? Of course, it's just, it depends on what you feel is an adventure. If you feel going out and uh, riding for six hours on the highway is an adventure, then that's an adventure, because that's what you feel. If you think you've got to go fanging through the desert at 150 clicks, standing up through bulldust to get an adventure, well, that's where you are, that's where your adventure is. But it's interesting, um, Lenz Kapoff, a guy that uh, we've followed each other for a very long time on the socials, he, uh, he was asking me about, you know, if uh, for some reason I needed a different bike, what would I get? And I basically said, well, the one I like to look of was the T7. But then I thought, would I use the extra power? And I probably wouldn't, you know? <coughs> Just the other night I watched uh, a video about Machine on their Great Dividing Range Part 1. And, you know, they're very experienced riders going pretty hard. Uh, doing fairly dangerous riding, but they've obviously got enough experience and uh, skill to get away with it almost entirely all the time. I do think uh, they're on public roads and they're taking a bit of a risk with whether there's something else on that road quite often. I would not like to be going into a, a blind bend at the speed they do. And, uh, you know, some of the situations they're in, there could be somebody even sat still around that bend and they wouldn't have enough time to stop. So that's just a personal thing. Some people think they can get away with that. So what do I put up? I'm CB500X ADV is my title. That's because I feel adventurous about what I do. When I bought this bike, I only did ride the road at first for most of the time, and I've gradually moved into wanting to ride dirt roads more of the time. Uh, what I do is not heroic, it's not brave at all. On some levels, for me it is, but that's because I started riding in my 50s, and I had all the fear that you don't have when you start riding earlier, and I had to learn everything about riding with that fear. So, to me, surpassing that fear and doing even the low amount of adventure that I do is uh, you know, a bit of achievement. It does require some bravery on my part, in my opinion. There are people on the various forums who just feel that they have to put down other people's adventures and go, you know, I put a picture of my bike up somewhere and somebody just had to put a picture of their bike up on making some sand dune because that was a real adventure not what I did that wasn't an adventure that was some old guy on a motorbike so yep look that's what I am an old guy on a motorbike whoa sorry mate <laughs> thank you I have fun on it the reason I have this channel is because I like sharing it and I like sharing other people's rides and that's what it's done for me. It's brought me together with a lot of people different parts of the world with the same interests. So to hell with the people who need to slot themselves in or slot other people in, which is worse, to a certain niche. I need to say whether or not it has their approval. To hell with them. I will watch everything from machine to somebody who's just bought a bike and doing his first ride on it. If they're enjoying it, and if they're able to put together a video that is uh, not just wind noise and uh, bad angles, I'll probably enjoy everything just the same. So there you go. What is an adventure? It's whatever you feel good about doing in your own way and that you would call an adventure. There you go. We're all different guys, who knew? Anyway, thanks for watching. Hopefully I'll catch you all on the next one. In the meantime, be safe and be happy.